The stop starts off as pretty routine. Yeah, keep your hands where I can see them. Yeah. A deputy pulls Brent Thompson over off I-25 in Loveland for expired plates. This traffic stop becomes anything but simple. Shortly after, Thompson gives the deputy a fake name. Did you give me the right name? Yeah. What's your name? Jacob Todd Jones. After checking, the deputy questions him. It is the right name. Yes, it is. Brent, I know. That's when Thompson uh, so runs away. Right the deputy us. chases and threatens to use a taser. Stop! Thompson jumps the guardrail, goes into the interstate, and the deputy stuns him. The 28-year-old man is lying in the middle of the road as headlights approach. That's where we'll stop the video. This man took a responsibility to pull a trigger, to capacitate my kid for five seconds, look downstream. <laughs> There's a car coming. The family thinks the deputy should face criminal charges. The district attorney disagrees, saying the deputy used poor judgment, but no crime was committed. His department won't discipline him either. An internal investigation by Larimer County Sheriff's Office found his actions were within policy. In a statement, the sheriff says the deputy was forced to make a choice with no easy answer, act and try to stop the suspect, or stand by passively and simply hope no innocent people got hurt. The sheriff says his deputy was protecting other drivers. This guy should be fired yesterday. We should not pay another dime to a person that took my son's life. In his statement, the sheriff said Thompson had drugs in his system and people close to him told the department he used fentanyl before driving that night. The family criticized the sheriff for smearing their son's name is what they said, saying the deputy didn't know any of that when he tased him that night. Such a horrible thing to watch and and even to think about the person in the SUV that had no idea. I mean, it's yeah. it's it's painful all around and what the family says, you know, if we can't find what they say is justice in the criminal justice system, uh, they do plan to take civil action against the sheriff's department. OK, thank you, Kelly.